Like many of us, these Wadarapa locals are curious about exactly what's going on in our freshwater streams. I'm an aquatic ecologist and um, working for Mountains to Sea Wellington and um, we are supporting the Papawai Stream Group to understand what it is that's living in their stream and get an idea of some baseline information. So what is happening and how healthy is the water right now? Um, how healthy is the habitat right now? And how healthy are the animals that are living within the stream? And the intention is that as they do more restoration actions and we continue to monitor over time, we'll start to see a shift in some of these things. So we'll start to see a return of more biodiversity. We'll start to see an improvement in water quality. We'll start to see more shade and those sorts of things. So it helps us to get a good understanding of, is our restoration action working? Papawai Mangarara stream flows alongside Papawai Road to join the Ruamahanga River. The Papawai Marae based groups have joined forces to explore what's going on beneath the surface. This morning we've had a look and we've got one long thin eel in there that's about 10 years old and uh, it's quite interesting in that it looks like it's been bitten by a larger eel that's put some bruises on the body and uh, and Liz is thinking, thinking that uh, it's coming this far up the stream to get away from its um, aggressor. So that's quite interesting. So we're going to also have a look at in some other traps to see what other smaller creatures we've got living in our stream. Liz says it's mainly human impact affecting the health of our water and the biodiversity of our freshwater species. This stream in particular seems to be pretty heavily impacted by sediment and also you can notice around here that there's a pretty significant lack of trees. So this would have been, originally it would have been part of a wetland complex that surrounded Wairarapa Moana and um, those wetlands were drained for farmland and a lot of the trees were cut down. The release of those trees means that a lot of sediment was ending up into the waterways and it also reduces a lot of that habitat for biodiversity so that would have been a big problem. As sediment fills up all the gaps in the bottom of those streams it can take away all those spaces for the food to grow but also the places for things to live and hide so that's had a really big negative impact. Also the stream flows through quite an urban environment um, from what I understand and so because of that it can have impacts from stormwater, from roads, from farm runoff as well can be an issue so sometimes effluent can get into the stream. You can see behind us we've got these really big uh, effluent sprays. The group set freshwater traps looking for eels and fish species and collected water samples to look at the different bug species that may be floating around. It'd be great to see a huge diversity of freshwater fish if we found all of the different kinds of white bait species that would be incredible. So the banded, the giant, the short jaw kokopu, um, kuaro are another fish that likes really clean, healthy, quite bouldery rivers and streams. Um, and then inanga as well. This is a place where I would expect to probably find inanga. It's low lying. If there is access to the ocean for these fish to get back up here, then that would be really amazing. So we'd start to see some of those things. Kakahi or freshwater mussels are another species that you see in some of the streams around the area so the presence of those tells us that some fish would be present too um, and they're really good at helping to clean up the water themselves as well so it would be great to see some of those in here. Um, it would also be really great to just see things like mayflies, stoneflies, caddisflies, a few more native trees and bushes around the place. Over a few hours the team found one long fin eel and some mid to low sensitivity invertebrate species, the low numbers indicating an impacted stream. In order to restore biodiversity, volunteers will need to continue with riparian plantings, increase shade cover over the stream and stabilise areas around the riverbed to reduce erosion. Elif Local Focus.